NASA's second shuttle carrier aircraft. Endeavour is preparing to leave the Edwards Air Force Base or the Palmdale facility uh, on its way to the Kennedy Space Center. It's scheduled to leave uh, California at about 8.15 a.m. Central Time this morning. Endeavour will be making an overnight stopover at Biggs Army Airfield in El Paso, Texas. This television now from the Orbiter Discovery, 139 nautical miles in space. This picture from the end effector camera of the remote arm as the arm is being maneuvered to the grapple, uh, toward the grapple fixture of the shuttle pallet satellite in preparation for the unbirth of the satellite with the infrared background signature survey experiment. Discovery Houston, we're with you, uh, UH, UHF, and we'd like you to configure the KU for the orbit ops uh, for a comm, please. The mission specialist Greg Harbaugh now ready to grapple the shuttle pallet satellite in preparation for the unbirth procedures to support the continued operations with the infrared background signature survey. Okay, uh, Houston Discovery, uh, if you're ready for the preliminary gyro drift comp, uh, we'll do that at uh, zero 02 plus 30. NASA's shuttle carrier aircraft carrying Endeavour for the first time to the Kennedy Space Center now lifting off from Edwards out in California on the first leg of its journey to the Kennedy Space Center in preparation for its first flight in April of 1992. This uh, is a view of Endeavour taken from uh, a NASA chase plane, a T-38 jet chase plane, as Endeavour uh, left Palmdale facility on its way to the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery, Rick, uh, no action on the A AIS. You can let it run to completion. Okay, great. This is a uh, tape replay of footage shot earlier as Endeavour and the shuttle carrier aircraft uh, departed California, the Palmdale facility. Endeavour left about 6.15 a.m. Pacific time this morning and is scheduled for about a two-hour flight to the uh, Biggs Army Airfield at El Paso, Texas where the uh, orbiter and uh, shuttle carrier aircraft will remain overnight and await word early in the morning from weather folks on uh, what the, p the correct path uh, to avoid any bad weather to reach uh, Kennedy Space Center.
Henry Houston for Rick. Now looking uh, from the forward bulkhead of Discovery as the shuttle pallet satellite is maneuvered to the low hover position. This view of Discovery and the shuttle pallet satellite uh, coming down just as Discovery passes over the northeasternmost corner of uh, Canada and in particular Quebec. On this path, Discovery will pass just to the south of the southernmost part of Greenland. Five is now being maneuvered to the uh, observation uh, attitude on the end of the arm. Orbiter Discovery is already in the attitude to support the uh, next step in the observation procedures for the infrared background signature survey experiments. The next step, once the uh, arm has maneuvered Spaz to the proper position, will be to uh, align the infrared sensors on the platform. picture down now. Looks like there's some pretty good sized storms off the coast of Africa. Yeah, you know, I can tell that you're right. Looking out the window, now that you mention it, there's some big uh, 